we really wanted to write about corporate social irresponsibility because it's something that many people can relate to. So many people remember Deepwater Horizon or Fukushima, and it's clear that these events spark people to discuss the role of companies in society and possibly try to change it. So with that in mind, we looked at a strand of literature that has shown that companies can use corporate social responsibility as an insurance. And the reasoning is that this creates stakeholder goodwill and it shields companies from stakeholder sanctions. Um, and we think that's a really important result, but we think that from a risk management perspective, there's still an important piece missing. And that is what generates that risk in the first place and which factors are important in generating it. So that's what we wanted to study. Now, we realized quickly that if we wanted to measure corporate social irresponsibility, we had to look at the media. Companies have an incentive to report on their good deeds, but the media has an incentive to report companies' misdeeds. That's just the way the news industry works, and that's where you find out about it. Um, so we use the data set provided by RepRisk. Um, they have a database with global coverage, many languages, of news stories where companies are criticized for something in the domains of environmental, social, or governance. And we created counts of those articles to create our independent variable. And as a dependent variable for financial risk, we use credit risk. Now, we find that media coverage of corporate social irresponsibility increases financial risk in three ways. The first mechanism is attention. Media coverage creates attention, and that's a fundamental precondition because if stakeholders don't notice it, in no way can there be stakeholder sanctions down the road. The second mechanism is agenda setting. Uh, media coverage can create agenda setting um, among stakeholders, especially if the story is published in an outlet that has a wide reach, such as the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal. And the third mechanism is attribution. So if the article provides a clear template how to attribute blame by establishing the company is culpable or could have, could have acted differently, um, that's also a mechanism that generates financial risk. And we find strong evidence for all three of those in our results. Now, I think this paper for instructors, um, they could use it in a class on corporate social responsibility, um, on risk management, and, and perhaps also on social movements. Um, I think it's a nice reading to highlight the significance of corporate social irresponsibility, and there's just a very small literature really focused on that. And it also challenges a little bit the way corporate social responsibility is measured and framed in, in large parts of the literature. For managers and investors, I think the results are also really tangible because we, um, we show the risks and costs that are associated with every single article of negative news in that space. And uh, I believe that detailed information really helps managers to make better decisions.